Oh, yeah. What? Making enough noises. Hey, I'm living my life. <laughs> <laughs> live your life. You live it, honey. Live it to the fullest. <laughs> What's wrong? Bye. You're making enough noise over there. Yeah, because I'm living life and you can vlog around me. <laughs> See, she's actually an asshole, everybody. <laughs> I don't know why you like her. Okay. It is not New Year's Eve, but it's the day before New Year's Eve. So New Year's Eve Eve. Again, it's a shit show. It's a gong show. When is our life not? We're getting in the car right now. We're driving 12 hours to Pinter Creek, Alberta. Google it. You probably have never heard of it, uh, heard of it before. I think the population's like 1600. My best friend Kelly lives there with her fiance. Um, and she's our closest friend. This is this is sad, but when you have no friends out here in Vancouver, where you have to drive 12 hours to find friends so you can have New Year's with them. Getting old is hard. Being a loser is hard. Good morning. Okay, well, good morning everybody. Uh, it's just before eight. And we are in Golden, BC. Last night was a horrible, horrible experience. Don't try to drive 12 hours at past midnight on one of the worst dangerous highways in Canada, Crossness Pass. It was so bad in a two wheel drive with no winter tires. The roads were bad. There's so many tra like transport trucks. We pulled over, we decided to get a room of gold and we, it's all booked because it's New Year's Eve. We found this one place and there's a reason probably why it wasn't booked up. It has no heat, like from the outside, it, like from here, it just, it looks pretty normal, like a hotel room. We had to put the two duvets on the bed because listen to the heat. First, look at the heat. Look at what we have to do with heat. I wore Come to my channel. We finally made it to beautiful Pincher Creek. Look at this, guys. Well, everyone chill. It's disgusting. That's the whole town. Um, Allison really has to pee. It took us about a day and a half, but we finally made it. A little background. I'm feeling really nostalgic here. So I went on Big Brother Canada, and after that, I had no job, no life, nowhere to live. My cat was here with Kelly. Kelly and I have been best friends for since we were 10 and we're almost 30. So almost 20 years of friendship. So Kelly, God love her, my best friend, has picked me off the floor so many times, has literally been my mother when I need her to be. She was like, get out here, get your cat, we will find you a job, we're gonna find you a purpose. I was going through some dark times, obviously struggling with my sexuality, not having a job, a purpose in life and losing a reality television show. So I came here and I was here for a vote and it's population 1600. Like there is, there's two streets. It's not, I'll, I'll give you the ground tour. It'll take five minutes. No joke. Um, so, and because I was, I would literally lock myself in the room that Kelly had given me and watch YouTube videos, try to figure out whether I was gay or not. And I actually ended up uh, talking to Allison. This is like when we started to get pretty close as friends. We would Skype and FaceTime and I'm showing her here now, which is crazy because I would sh like FaceTime her and be like, so this is Pinter Creek and she didn't really get it or understand it, but now she's seeing the real deal. So a lot has happened here and it's, and I haven't been back since. So over a year and a half ago. Yeah. Yeah. And this is Main Street. 
Oh, it's cute. Yeah, it's happening. Oh my god, they have decorations. They're way more I festive. I didn't think it was this cute. What did you think it was gonna be like? Like nothing. Like I didn't think there was gonna be anything. This is nice, eh? It's busy. So we've got uh, we got a bank. A 7-Eleven is coming up. Rexall, that's fancy. That's 7-Eleven and Scotiabank. Okay, but I showered, so we look a lot better. Kelly's here. You look great. This is Kelly's home. She is a homemaker now. Allison showered. You look good. Found the beer. Yeah. The bees are here. I'm just here for the beer. That's all. We drove 13 hours for the beer. <laughs> Um, oh, I do want to. Oh, I do want to tell a good story. I do have a really good story. Okay, so I call Kelly. This is over a year ago. Hey, hello. <laughs> oh, you're gay? Okay. Good talk. That's how it happened. Thank you. Let me get anything for you. you Six. <laughs> Good morning, 2017. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I don't even know if I filmed or what happened last night, but I'm hurting. I'm just reading my text from last night, and I guess I wanted to wish everyone Happy New Year's, um. but I couldn't even get like words out, so it's like. Happy life, happy lives, uh, happy, happy. No, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I'm sorry to anyone. And like, to people like I kind of talk to, but not really. That's awkward. Why? <laughs> I, I, I haven't chatted, I, I just watched Good morning, good morning. Okay, 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 no. <laughs> oh, here comes the big girl. Here comes the big girl. Hi, Lenny! Good oh, morning! No. <laughs> this is a dream come true. This is the best year of my life. Pitcher Creek got 15 centimeters yesterday. So we're leaving today now. It's January 2nd. And Pitcher Creek has been amazing and awesome. Thank you, Kelly and Greg, for having us. But we need to leave. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So dirty. Finally home after 14 hours on the road, we made it safe and sound. I wanted to end the vlog here, but I also wanted to kind of reflect on 2016 and also talk about 2017 and what plans I have for this year and what I want to do with this vlog or this channel and what you guys can expect. So first, 2016 has been the best year of my life. I really mean that. For the first time in my life, I'm most honest with myself and people around me. I guess content, kind of like figuring stuff out. No way am I like, yes, I'm, I've figured it all out, I've made it, but this year has been leaps and bounds for myself, and I'm proud to say that. I'm happy where I'm at right now. What I'm trying to say. You're so fucking tired. I'm really grateful for 2016. 2017. Uh, I do have a lot going on, a lot of unknowns. It's kind of scary, but I'm excited. Moving on for this year, what I want to do with this vlog. It is extremely challenging to be as honest and as kind of real as you can with this. As you can see, I have no makeup on. I've been traveling for 14 hours, haven't showered. And a part of me was like, do I want to put this on camera? But I had all these thoughts and I wanted to share them. And that's what I love about this, to be as honest as I can. I do want to share a lot more, be as vulnerable as I can, put myself out there. It's been a dream of mine for years and finally I'm doing it. It takes a lot though. I do wanna do the coming out, my coming out story. Be patient with me. I want it to be as organic and natural as it should be. I don't wanna be like, okay, hey, Tuesday I'm filming my coming out video. I want to one day wake up and be like, okay, hey, today's the day where I can just kinda of sit on my floor and talk. So it's coming, just be patient, please. Um, as well, Allison and I have some big decisions to make and as individuals and as a couple. So I'm excited for that. A little scared, but 
I'm excited to, to see what happens. Love you guys. Good night. I'll see you next week.